Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you everything you need to know about attending or hosting a meeting using Zoom. And so Zoom is a software that tons of businesses and schools are using around the world, and it's become extremely popular in the recent months. So Zoom is great for video conferences, it's great for webinars, for calls, for meetings, or even for chats. And so there really are quite a few options with Zoom, which is why so many people are using it. There is a free version, or you can upgrade that and start having some more extensive capabilities with audience size and things like that. And I'll talk about that later on in the video. But like I said, in this video, I will show you step-by-step -step everything you need to know from setting up your account to hosting a meeting, to joining a meeting, and how to optimize everything within a meeting to make sure that certain participants are muted or not muted, to make sure that video is working, and make sure that no matter what you're using this for, everything goes as smoothly as you need it to. So right off the bat, the first thing we want to do is go to zoom.us. And if you just go to Google and type in Zoom, this will be the first thing that pops up anyway. So going here to zoom.us should look something like this. It may look a little bit different. I'll put a link down in the description so you guys can get here as well and you wanna click on the sign up, it's free right there, and we're going to create our account. And so you can first put in your work email address, which I do recommend, or if this is a personal account, you could sign in with Google or with Facebook just as easily, and so all of these are very simple. I'm going to sign in with Google right now, just things are a little easier that way, and we're going to use my Santrell Media email there, and we're going to create an account. It pulls your image from Google, right now it's not quite doing that, but it will eventually, it should be doing that so that you have um, a better picture right there. Now, you can always go up to your account and change that just very quickly. I'll show you guys. You can go up and click on that. You can change your ID right there. You can change, um, make sure the information is correct because, you know, when people are in meetings, they may see this icon right there. So make sure it's a professional and, you know, a good photo that you actually want to use. Now, just taking a quick tour of what Zoom is all about here. So, when you sign in, you can go back and click on Zoom at any point, and it'll bring you into basically telling you about Zoom. We're not gonna do that. Really what we need up here is these three things here. So there's my account, as I showed you just a minute ago, um, and this is gonna be all of your settings where you can see your profile there. You can see meetings that you have, the upcoming meetings, previous meetings you were in. You can go and find some recordings here. So your recordings would be down there. And I'll show you in this video how you can record a meeting. It'll be saved right here then. You can go to webinars and of course settings down there. And then there's administration and stuff down there if you're the admin. So a couple options here, pretty st straightforward if you're trying to do basic things like find different meetings. But let's say we are looking to host a meeting. So how do we host a meeting? The first thing we wanna do, go up here to right here, host a meeting. You could also schedule a meeting, but we're going to host it assuming right now you want to have a meeting. So we'll go, they give you three options and you can change these later on too. You can turn your vid video on or off. But we'll just say, do we want to host a video or a meeting with video on, uh, video off, or just only screen sharing? So like I said, regardless of which one you choose, you pretty much can get by. So we're going to say with video on right now, and it's going to have us download Zoom. So it says download and run Zoom. Um, if it doesn't download down there, as it, as it clearly did right here, you should click here and it'll download again. So we are going to click on that. It is going to quickly install on, on our laptop or desktop or whatever we're using here. And that is where we're going to be running everything. So to be clear, Zoom, you can manage your account on the website right here, but when you're actually in a meeting, it will be software on your laptop. There is also a mobile app you can get, and I can show you guys that later on in the video. It's pretty straightforward, and it should be very similar to this, though. Um, so that'll just be a very brief coverage of that. So you'll see that it will pop up then. Right here, we have it. And we can sign in right here. Uh, and it already it automatically signs in because we were just signed in when we downloaded it. And you can see I am right there. So we have some options. We can automatically join um, with computer audio or we can, you know, test speaker and microphone right there. So I'm going to join with computer audio right now. And now you guys can see me. This is a webcam and I do have some recommendations. When you're in a meeting, maybe don't have such a large microphone here. I typically would just use the one that's on my laptop. And secondly, when you're in a meeting, if you want to have video calls like this, I do recommend having good lighting behind your laptop right there. If you look here, it's not the best lighting, so it's a little bit grainy. And if you wanna have that really good image, you don't necessarily need a better camera. Really what you need is just better lighting. So what, now we're in a meeting here, so we have some options. So right up there, we can go for some information there. Um, not that exciting, but it just tells us like what our username is, stuff like that. Um, it gives us a little green lock there, that's good. 
Then as we go across the bottom, we have, we can mute ourselves right here. So I just muted myself. You can press Alt A, as you see right there, to unmute. And we can unmute right there. As you see a little option here, there are some different things for selecting a microphone. So right now it is actually using this microphone here. So that's good if you want to use an external microphone. I typically just use, like I said, the one on my laptop. We can go down and select a different speaker. So right now it's playing through the microphone to my headphones. I have my headphones plugged into my microphone. But again, sometimes your laptop speaker works just as well. If you have multiple people on in a meeting in the same room, they should be wearing headsets. Otherwise, you will have feedback and that screeching sound. Make sure you don't get that. Then as we go down here, you can go down and stop video. This is what I said before. If you start a meeting that is a video meeting and you think, you know what, I don't actually want my camera on, you can stop the video right there and it just says your name. So we can go audio only now. Then we can go over and invite some different participants. So we can go and uh, go, you can invite them by Gmail, Yahoo Mail, default email. That's very easy. Or more likely what I would recommend for most people is to go down to copy the URL right here and then this will send to somebody. Um, or we can go and copy the invitation right there. And so if we copy the invitation, let's paste that just to see what it looks like. Um, so if we go into here, the invitation will look like that. So it gives them the meeting ID and the password. So if we just copy this meeting ID, that's how somebody could join a meeting right now. So they have the password and the meeting ID. Let's save that over on the side here and see what else we can do. So like I said, you could copy the URL and email it to somebody, copy the invitation and email it to somebody. Um, you can do these three things. And that's what we're doing for right now. So then I'll actually keep going across here. Then I'll show you how you can join a meeting in a second. So you can manage participants here. And this is when you have multiple people. You can see who has their camera. Like right now, the red icon there means that my camera is turned off. And then the microphone clearly shows that it's on. So we can mute myself or I can mute other participants as the host right here. And we can also mute all. We can unmute all. And you have some other options as well. So for example, you can mute participants on entry. So when somebody just so when somebody just signs in, um, they're muted by default and then they can unmute themselves. That way, people don't, aren't accidentally unmuted. They have to consciously unmute themselves and you don't have any kind of background sound, especially if you start having uh, like a thousand people or something like that. And so actually that reminds me, something I forgot to mention earlier is that some of the great things about Zoom is that you can have up to 1,000 participants or 10,000 viewers. So that's great if you're running, you know, if you're a professor in a college or something like that, you could easily present to a large audience or if you're looking for a very large meeting, um, you could very well do that with Zoom as well. And the free version is good for up to four participants and has a 40 minute time limit from my understanding. And I believe some of the higher paid versions have like a 24 minute time limit or 24 hour time limit. So 24 hours, I, I, I really hope your meetings are not more than 24 hours. So let's turn the video back on here and we'll continue. Share screen is another option right here. We can click the up icon and so you can set some different things. So only one participant can share, maybe multiple people can share. And again, in a meeting, as you have more people in this, you'll see that it would be like little blocks for each individual person. I wouldn't be filling up the entire screen unless I was the only one with my camera on. So if we click share screen, we do have quite a few options here. So first we can share just this screen. Um, and because my laptop is plugged into a second monitor back here, I do have screen number two. So that's great if you're trying to use one screen and present a different one. That's a very easy way to just drag certain things onto the screen you're trying to show and then manage other stuff on the other screen. It's something that I've done in meetings in the past, and I definitely do find it a very powerful tool. Then we have whiteboard right here. I'll show you that in just one second. Um, we can show individual apps that are open on my laptop. So right, right now I have like uh, Chrome is open right now. I have OBS. That's how I'm recording this, of course. I have like a text editor right there. And I can share just one window from just that application. And I think that's a great way to, you know, if you have a lot of tabs open and all you really care about is one thing, it's great that you could share only that one item. Then we can go over and there are some advanced things here. So you can short share just a portion of your screen. Uh, typically... I don't really do that. I have two monitors, so that's a better way of doing that for me. But you could, you know, just share only the audio from your computer. You could share only the content from a second camera, uh, or you can actually go and share certain files with people if you're looking to do that. So let's go back to basic. Down here, we do have some other options of sharing your computer sound. So if you're playing a video on your computer, make sure you check that. Um, and you could optimize it if you're looking to do that. Now let's go and check out the whiteboard here and share this. And you'll see we should have a whiteboard pops up here. And the whiteboard then... Um, so I'm up in the corner and let's just say I have like a little pen right here um, that is like a laptop pen. So it's great that you can like draw all over this. And if you're trying to teach, you could use maybe a tablet. This would be great for that. Um, and across the top we have, you can select, so you can go and select certain things and move things around. 
we have text, we can draw. So we have some options with drawing right there. And you can, of course, stamps are not that exciting. Spotlight, eraser, you can change the format of your pen right there. And these are all things that are obviously great if you're trying to be, a t if you're a teacher and you're trying to communicate ideas to a classroom, you can, you know, draw some things. Uh, and also in, in like an engineering meeting is something that I've been using this in where it is useful if you're trying to explain something, it's really kind of hard to articulate with words and with your hands. Sometimes it's best just to draw like a free body diagram and communicate like that so that uh, other people in your meeting know. So we're going to X out of these tools right here. Um, and then we're going to X out of this as well. And it brings us right back into what we were. So no longer are we sharing that. Then we also have chat over on the bottom there. You can go to chat here. And there are some options. You can do an entire group chat right here with everybody. Um, or you can chat with only individual people. It's also a great way to share a file, as you can see right there, sharing a file. Or you have some other options right there, like I said. So you can chat with, um, you can decide who is able to chat. So you can say that anybody's allowed to chat with only you. So if you're a presenter, it might be good to have host only. So anybody can talk to you. And if they have a question, you can answer their question right away. Um, and that way it's not a big distraction for maybe a lot of students, for example. So those are your options there. Um, besides that, we also have reactions here. We can record. I didn't mean to skip that. So recording right there, like I said before, if you're recording your webinar or whatever you're trying to do, uh, you can then you know download uh, say, or save this video at the end and then upload it to whatever video sharing platform you want. And then that way people who missed this meeting can then go um, and go back and see actually what was in the meeting or otherwise in your presentation. So we can pause it. We can stop the recording right there. And then we can also go into reactions and you have two options there. You can clap or you can give it a thumbs up. Uh, and it'll just kind of show up in the top corner next to my picture right up at the top there. So let's turn off the video now. And that is pretty much how you would be hosting a meeting right here. So when you're done, you can end the meeting for either yourself by leaving the meeting. And that way people can stay in the meeting and can you know keep talking or uh, maybe just keep discussing whatever they're doing. Or you can end the meeting for everybody. It kicks everyone else out off. Um, and then that is the end of it. And right there, it's converting meeting meeting record. So that is the recording that we got. So let's say you downloaded Zoom and you have Zoom right here. And instead of hosting a meeting, like I showed you before, you want to join a meeting. So you'd click join right there. And then it asks you for the meeting ID or the personal link name. So you can find the individual person. So right there is a meeting that a different me hosted in the past. So all you need is that little code right there. You can then join the meeting and you can say, uh, turn off my video, do not connect uh, to, to my audio right away and then you'll join the meeting. Of course, that meeting is not going right now, but that's how you're gonna join a meeting. So it's very easy to do. And you'll see that the app right here is also very straightforward. It's not that different from uh, what we saw on the website where we had you know different options up at the top, but we can chat right here. So if you have messages with different people, kind of similar to what we saw with Skype, you can also see your meetings right here. You can schedule different meetings. Um, you can copy invitations and share them with other people, maybe by direct message over in the chat area right there, or you can just obviously send it to them, send the invitation to them. Um, and so pretty much that is what you'll be doing when you're using Zoom. It's a very powerful tool that I, it's free at first and you can upgrade to different levels if you would like. It's something that I think is very powerful. I've been using it and I definitely recommend it to other schools or businesses or organizations that are looking to communicate, especially, I mean, I'm recording this right now in quarantine. So if you're watching this in quarantine as well, I hope everything's going well for you. I hope you're safe and I hope you are able to continue being productive using this tool. So as always, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.